Oh my god. How do I make a video like this? Guys, I just made a video about how I'm a makeup artist and this is what my mouth looks like, so. Cool. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is just a nice little video where I'm actually just gonna be real with you and I am going to tell you the top five palettes I reach for on location or on job for bridal makeup. Now if you guys don't know, I am a freelance um, makeup artist. I also do work for a salon and that salon mostly does weddings so I, it's starting to pick up a lot but I, I'm almost doing like a wedding every single weekend at this point and I love palettes. I have so many palettes and <laughs> the girls at work make fun of me because I bring so many palettes. They call me the palette queen and I will let you know that there are certain palettes that I just reach for over and over again over other palettes. So these are just my top five most used, most reached for palettes on a wedding gig. So technically the top five best palettes for brides. Now, number one for me is limited edition. Guys, don't murder me, but I reach for this over and over and over again, and it is mostly because brides are so into that like warm, subtle look right now, and it is the Lorac Mega Pro 3. This is a beautiful, neutral palette. It just kind of screams bride and slash wedding day on it. Um, Brides most of the time just go for like these very warm colors up here and like the very neutral champagnes and like a little bit of deepening up. Lately I have had these brides that are like, I may as well not put any makeup on them and they're like, it's perfect. And I'm like, which is fine, but it's even, I try to like reiterate, like you want to look like yourself, like a naturally enhanced version of yourself on your wedding day, but you also want to just seem a little more special. Like I don't push my brides to do anything crazy or anything like that. I'm just like for pictures and everything. Like I literally had a bride the other day where she was just saying that everything is like, I literally would take like this pink cream color here and put it on her lid. And she was like, mm, it's just too much. It's too dark. I, I don't like it. And I'm like, all right, I'm doing her trial. And I put on, and then I ended up like wiping it off with a baby wipe just to start over. Cause I was like, I'm just starting over. And she looks in the mirror and she's like, it's perfect. And I'm like, you're not wearing any makeup. She was like, it's perfect. You know what? If you like what your mama gave you, you like what your mama gave you. This is such a beautiful palette for brides. Lorac eyeshadows have not been my favorite thing, but lately I can definitely say that these are just such soft, blendable, very, very neutral, very, very subtle shades. You can really blend these out to no stark lines to perfection. So brides really like that, where it just looks like it's a seamless color transition going on on the lid and it's subtle and it's a little bit warm because lately I have just been getting brides who are like, I want warm, 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 but it is the time we are in now and this is so perfect. I am sad that, I mean, I think I brought it back, but it was limited edition, so sorry guys. Staying on the warm trend, I'm not even gonna talk about it that much, but you obviously know that this is the number two I reach for. The shade here, Vermeer, is perfect for the ladies on their lids. They absolutely love this. I stick to not like the super pink shades and super purple, but the very like warm and champagne shades. And this color called Cypress Umper is a perfect bridal crease, I mean, perfect bridal outer corner color. These blend very seamlessly as well, so they look very natural and perfectly blended on the lid. Nothing crazy, nothing high fashion, anything like that. Because, like I said, I just run into a lot of very natural brides, and that is that. I'm not gonna talk about the modern brides not so much because everybody and their mother talks about it so much, but. Second, you guys are gonna be like, what the heck? But it's actually the TARDIS Pro. This has a ton of, um, a ton of matte shades. So if I'm really like stuck, the thing that's great about this is that I have those warm transition shades and I have a ton of cool transition shades because a lot of times on the mother or the bride I'll use a lot more cool tones because that's just I've been getting they always wear like gray dresses black dresses and I just find that like most of the mothers of the brides it just complements them very well not that there's like a theory to like because you're a little bit older you need to wear cool tones it just like works a lot of the time for the mother of the bride but warm shades this you can go warm, you can go cool, you can deepen up, you can blend out. These shades are perfect for that. And they're all matte, except for these. And these are kind of trash. I never use those duochrome shades. But the fact that I can use this for all different tones and colors of the spectrum for brides 
is perfect. My next is such an oldie but a goodie, and you guys are probably like, Meg, this is in the old packaging, but I actually adore this. And I will say, the number one eyeshadow that I add to a bridal looks where they are just so in love and they're like, this is it, I am so in love with this, is the color Silk Teddy. You can see it's the color here in the pan that has pan. It's a beautiful champagne look and when blended out in the inner corner and a little bit on the lid, it just makes people with brown eyes, hazel eyes, blue eyes, it doesn't matter, your eyes look stunning and stand out. I had a hazel-eyed bride the other day and her eyes just looked pure green. I had a brown-eyed bride and it just like helped pull a little more warm colors into her eyes. It is the most perfect eyeshadow. So I use this on so many gigs. I have had purple people ask me like, what is that eyeshadow? I need it. This palette, like at the trial, I was like, you better bring this palette with you on my wedding day because that shade needs to be on my eye. And it is such a hit. Like, I will literally be like, sometimes girl, a lot of times brides will tell me, they're like, I want all mattes, I want it to be natural. And then they'll look in the mirror and they'll go, you know what, I just think it's missing like something. Pop that sucker on the lid and they're like, that's exactly what it was missing. Oh my God, how did you know? This thing is like my wedding weapon. <laughs> And this palette is such an oldie but a goodie. This is such a good blend out shade here in heaven. This has way too much glitter on it. Never use it on a wedding day. I mean, unless the bride is like, I want matte glitter, but Newton Beach. But Silk Teddy in this palette and the other shades to blend it out. Like I said, this is my secret weapon arsenal for weddings. Like, these ladies don't even know that I have this baby up my sleeve. <laughs> Second is a cheek palette. The last but not least palette, um, there's a couple more palettes that are amazing and I love them, but um, one is just never gonna come back and it's the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean palette. It is the most beautiful bronzer, beautiful highlighters, beautiful blushes, and like I tweeted at Lorac, please bring that back. It is my um, like number one highlighting palette for brides. <sighs> You know what? I'm grabbing it. I don't care. This is supposed to be a top five, but everybody breaks the rules, right? I'm just sifting through my kit. Guys, this is an honorable mention. Sorry, I know this is supposed to be top five, but you guys know I love the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean Face Collection palette. Lorac, please bring this back. Please. Please. This is just, I have never not used this on a bride I'm pretty sure like this color in destined for a highlight it is just the most beautiful natural oh my god it is it's a bridal highlight it is a bridal highlight like that's what it is and this bronzer in lost soul even this one in fortune for the very fair skin folks and this star reader color for the very dark skin folk oh my god like please Lorac and this Caribbean blush. It's beautiful. It's neutral. I have never not put this on a bride and been like, that is the finishing touch that I needed. But it is limited edition and I can't get it anywhere. And I'm so mad because I saw it when it was on sale and I was like, oh, it'll take me forever to go through a palette. I have so many palettes, but this is, it's the bridal highlight and cheek palette of the century. And I'll never have it back. But my last palette to talk about is actually the Benefit Cheekathon palette. Um, and I know this was limited edition, but they bring out like 700 different varieties of this palette, like twice or three times a year. So it's not like you're not gonna be able to get your hands on like the almost same exact thing, but it's a cheek palette. And you guys know it has all the benefit, not all, has a lot of the benefit information. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of benefit information in it. A lot of the benefit cheek products in it, which first of all, I don't need a brush there. That should have been a goddamn blush but these are all permanent um, selections of the good old benefit collection but one of my favorites to use is rock tour you can see right there this is just the most perfect neutral kind of shimmery but not glittery or like too sheeny for photos it is like I said it's just a bridal blush it brings that pinched look to the cheeks it gives a little bit of a sheen without glowing to the gods now we all know that I love to glow to the gods and some brides love to glow to the gods but in terms of like a neutral natural um sheeny blush that's beautiful rock tour and I do mix together like dandelion coralista and dallas like the three of these together I like just swirl my brush in is a big hit dandelion is a beautiful neutral shade dallas is like 
Is this falling out? Did you know that it does that? Because I just learned that. <laughs> But Dallas here is like a beautiful mauve bronze bronze shade that like really uh, it accents a lot of medium skin tones to like light fair skin tones. Hula is a very flattering bronzer without being too over the top. Coralista, it's a little much for a bride, but it's also like a perfect peachy sheeny shade for like a spring bride. And I just get a lot of happy brides when I use this. What can I say? They love this, it's great, it's compact. Well, I mean, it's not compact, it's like, but it's five shades in my kit that I know are gonna look good on 90% of the skin tones that I work with. So it's just a great little thing to have in my arsenal. These aren't even necessarily like my favorite palettes in life. They're just the palettes that I know when I am doing a ride, I just have them at my fingertips because I know I'm gonna use them. And if I like looked at my kit and realized I didn't have these on me, I'd probably have a mini panic attack. No, I'm just kidding. I have so many palettes and I could make it work. But these are like my secret little weapons. I know what I can do with them. I mean, I know what I can change when a bride doesn't like something with them. Like I have it stacked out for every situation that's gonna come my way. And you guys think like they're all neutral palettes. I'm just being honest with you. I've never had a bride. It's like, I want some crazy color. I would love it. I would love it if she was like, you know what, let's throw some greens and blues on there. I'd be like, girl, let's work it. But they all love to be the, my favorite line is, you want to be just a beautiful, naturally enhanced version of yourself. And they're like, oh, Megan, yes. And they eat it all up, which is great. It's fun. I love to be that girl on people's wedding day. Like I sing with my brides. I dance with my brides. I want them to be so relaxed. I want them to have so much fun. They're always telling me, they're like, Meg, you're so funny. You're so, this is like so fun. And that's exactly how I want them to feel. Comfortable, tell me what they don't like. like. I've worked with makeup artists who are like, they're like, oh, I don't really like that. And they're like, well, in photos, it's gonna look good. And in this, it's gonna look good. And you're fine. You want that person to leave your chair feeling happy. And not to mention like you can, let me just say this, just change a little something. And if they think it's their idea that they changed it, they look at themselves and they're like, that's it. Let them take a little bit of the credit because it definitely helps them in the long run. Like even if like you turn them, sorry for my bleeding lipstick. That's kind of nasty. Mac dude, fucking Mac. Don't mind my bleeding lipstick and the fact that you can't see my eyes. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have wore a gloss. I just, I just knew it, okay? And I'm not going back and refilling this because I already look like a bum. And I haven't even worked out yet, okay? Try not to look at yourself like this. And they're always like looking at their makeup like this. And I'm like, of course, it's not gonna look good from that angle, I promise. Your makeup ain't gonna look good from that angle. I promise. Tell me anything you want me to change. And they're like, oh, and I'm like, okay. I want you to leave that chair feeling like a happy mofo, okay? Okay. Thank you so much for watching my little video on the top five most reached for, my top five favorite palettes to use on weddings and brides. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful night. Bye.